Holton is 58 degrees. Holton is 58 degrees, the north wind. All right, three o'clock here, and uh, I believe we're starting the live stream. Isaac, I'm look over and see a thumbs up. Yep, cool, thanks. All right, so here's let's update what's going on here. Of course, we talked yesterday about this, uh, you know, high end tornado possibility, and some spots that still could happen. Um, other other areas, this is close to how the uh, the timing was playing out in this yesterday. Um, some spots are being removed from being at risk of seeing severe weather, uh, at least not tornadoes. So Concordia. You're out of this now. Let's look at what's going on in Concordia right now. You're 50 degrees. You wind is from the north northeast. So I was mentioning yesterday, if the wind is coming in from the north, you see the temperature drop. The tornado risk is done uh, almost for sure. So Concordia, you're out of this. Still seeing rain and likely to see more rain this evening and tonight. Here's Emporia, the west side of town. The Emporia cam provided by ValueNet Fiber. Check out the wind. Straight to the south, 22 miles per hour. The temperature is 25 degrees warmer. Then Concordia, you still have a dew point of 64, still very humid, and you still are in the risk of severe weather, and even tornadoes be possible for Emporia. Lyon County is actually just one county over from a tornado watch that was issued that goes from Oklahoma to South Central Kansas and all the way to Chase County. So Mary, uh, Marion County is in that, McPherson County is in that, um, then down into uh, South Central Kansas and northern parts of Oklahoma. So here's the cold front. We'll go back to 9 o'clock this morning, and you can see the cold front right there. It passed Concordia at that point. Over the next few hours, as we get into Manhattan, now we're seeing the winds coming in from the north in Manhattan. The temperature has dropped there in Manhattan as well. Halt and the wind just shifted to the northeast at 8 miles per hour. High Hiawatha, the winds are from the north at uh, 10 miles per hour. So uh, we're probably going to be able to clear some towns uh, from this risk. But the farther south and east you are, the risk still remains. So Topeka, uh, Emporia, Council Grove, Burlington, Eskridge, uh, Maple Hill, um, areas uh, you know like Dover, Osage City, Burlington, we are still in this risk of seeing severe weather and we'll see if we have a watch issue. Right now we're kind of uh, in between watches. There's one in northwest Missouri, a severe storm watch that goes to Donovan County and clips northeast Kansas there and then the tornado watch goes from Chase County down to the uh, south and west, but much of northeast Kansas is currently not under an active watch at this point. So here's the cold front position over the last two hours. You can see Manhattan went from 77 degrees two hours ago, uh, down to the temperature now 59. There are the surface winds. I'm not sold on Holton being out of the risk just yet, but to areas like Marysville, Washington, Clay Center, your tornado risk at this point is zero. Now you will still see some, some rain and probably heavy at times, which is great to see. Uh, the last round of rain we had really missed a lot of these areas like Marysville, Manhattan, uh, Abilene, Salinas saw no rain out of the last heavy rain event we had. So nice to see some good moisture in a lot of areas, but we're still watching for this risk of uh, severe weather um, areas like Emporia. Topeka, the temperature dropped because of this last round of rain that went through just about a half hour ago um, when it ended. Um, but uh, that temperature could still come back up. Osage City, City is still 77, Burlington 77, Ottawa 81. So uh, while Topeka saw some rain, the temperature cooled. The wind is still out of the south, and the risk of severe weather remains. Now, this is the, the, the big event we've been worried about, 
is this stuff. This is attached to the, the front itself and has the greatest energy. Uh, the tornado watch goes over to Chase County, as I mentioned. So we're going to have to watch these storms coming from just west of Wichita. That's where the jet stream energy is starting to get uh, closer to us. Now, as you look at the uh, severe storm risk, it says tomorrow, it should be today. Um, but we've got that enhanced risk still over eastern Kansas. Now, they've cropped some of that, uh, that uh, area of tornado risk off. They still have the uh, uh, higher end, those, uh, those hash marks in, in there that go up to Topeka. And as I mentioned a moment ago, the wind looks like it was shifting directions there at Holton. This, this outlook came out four minutes ago. This is new, new. This is brand new stuff. So Emporia, Osage City, Burlington, uh, Ottawa, you're still in these hash, hashed areas. Um, so we'll definitely have to watch that. Uh, there's a lot of jet stream energy still coming this way. Now, as we look out wider, you'll see that uh, hatched area. These red streaks now goes farther down to Oklahoma than it did yesterday, but it does crop off some of the areas to the north and to the west that, uh, that were there yesterday. So that they're, they're moving this, uh, this, this risk area a little farther to the south and east. I want to back this graphic up. I had it run too fast through. Is that something new? It's Chase and Marion County. Chase and Marion, okay. Okay, let me back this graphic up here and I see what I did to it here. All right, this is the uh, computer model and I want to show you kind of where it starts. There's 4 p.m. Uh, with the storms uh, near Manhattan. As we get close to 5, now we're probably in Council Grover close to it. As we get closer to 6 o'clock, uh, you know, we're getting uh, most likely into Emporia and then Topeka probably 6 or 7 o'clock for these uh, storms to start uh, moving in. So. Uh, again, we are not done with this uh, risk by any, rank, meaning, any means, but areas farther to the west certainly are, uh, are out of it. So Manhattan, Concordia, I don't see any way in the world you get some sort of tornado. That's just not going to happen. Uh, you're still going to see rain, uh, but areas farther to the west now uh, can start to uh, breathe a bit easier. This uh, risk is not, is not, uh, doesn't exist those areas to the west again. So go back to these graphics, and we'll, we'll go about to another five minutes on this live stream. We'll prepare for the 4 o'clock show, but just giving people an idea of where the risk remains and where the risk is over with uh, as of just after 3 o'clock uh, here on, uh, on Wednesday. Of course, tomorrow, Halloween. And tomorrow's a dry day still. Temperatures tomorrow in the upper 50s to near 60. It'll be totally dry. So outside right now from Concordia, Rain still falling, the temperature 50. Concordia is fully out of the tornado risk at this point. I just, I don't see any way in the world you would see something in Cloud County at this point. Emporia, you are still in the risk of seeing severe weather and tornadoes. 75, the temperature 2.64. South winds at 22 miles per hour. And uh, as long as you have a south wind at the surface, your tornado risk is still significant. So over the last several hours, tracking the cold front and the wind directions, you'll see still a south wind in Council Grove, Emporia, Burlington, Topeka, Lawrence, over to uh, Kansas City, Ottawa as well. But Marysville, Clay Center, Concordia, you are most likely out of any sort of risk of seeing a higher end severe weather today, thankfully. We're still having gusts as high as 40 miles per hour in Emporia. From the south, Burlington almost to 40 miles per hour. Now, watching the precipitation and the uh, wind, wind directions, you can see Manhattan went from upper 70s a couple of hours ago down to 59 degrees. Now, you're not far enough away from the cold front for me to say that Manhattan is uh, all clear, but you're awfully close to it. Um, but areas to the east that are not in that strong north wind yet, uh, the risk still remains and uh, remains uh, to be significant. Topeka's temperature dropped to 71 after this last round of rain moved through. Uh, that temperature could jump back up a little now that, that rain ended. We saw the strong south wind. Ottawa's 81, Osage City 77. Lawrence has rain falling right now, so the temperature a bit cooler at 70 degrees. But to the north and west, where temperatures are in the, the 50s, that risk is uh, certainly uh, much, much less. So checking out the uh, the radar, let me bring up the watches here. And uh, what you'll see is we have the watch in northwest Missouri. That's the uh, severe storm watch. And the tornado watch goes all the way up to uh, uh, parts of uh, Chase, Can Chase County and down into north central uh, Oklahoma. I don't see it show up on this map for some reason, but there, it is there from Chase County down to the north part of uh, Oklahoma is in the tornado watch. So this storm that we see uh, that's going across the uh, southwest part of McPherson County and southwest Marion County, uh, that's the only storm we have right now that's in the tornado watch that's heading toward the WIBW viewing area. So for folks that are in Council Grove and uh, Emporia as well, uh, even, even maybe Junction City up to Eskridge, even Topeka, 
we have to watch this stuff right here or anything else that develops along this line. This is closer to the, uh, the real jet stream energy that's coming our way and the temperatures out and ahead of this are easily in the upper 70s with plenty of moisture to work with and heading in our direction. So this risk of seeing severe weather, tornadoes, even a big tornado for somebody is not done. Uh, we're just having to watch this stuff that's uh, close to Wichita right now. Again, the Storm Prediction Center still has us in this level three out of five for the uh, severe storm risk. And it's not tomorrow, it's today. And uh, this uh, uh, higher end tornado risk that I mentioned yesterday with these red streaks, they've cropped off areas to the north, like Holton's out of this, Seneca's out of this, Hiawatha is out of this. Um, but uh, Emporia, Council Grove, Topeka, Burlington still in this. And it's really because the activity is close to Wichita right now and coming in uh, from the southwest and northeast. So it's still a possibility that we could see tornadoes and, uh, you know, a, a bigger one is certainly a, a possibility at this point. So uh, don't sleep on this thing. It, it, it's, uh, it certainly uh, does have the potential to be a, still a dangerous day. And the, the maximum of the, of the jet stream energy really gets in here about 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. But again, areas where the wind has shifted around to the north or northwest, you're seeing the temperatures in the 50s and, and raining. Uh, the risk of seeing some sort of high and high, high and severe weather is much lower in those places. But until we see Topeka, Emporia, uh, and Council Grove with those north winds and, and cold rain, uh, we'll still have to, to watch for that. So again, this, this risk does continue. As of this moment, we do not have a tornado watch for uh, most of northeast Kansas. It does go up to Marion and Chase, uh, Marion Chase counties. Um, so they are in it. Um, count, uh, and Lyon County is not in it yet. I would not be surprised if at some point either they, they might extend the watch farther to the north and east and include Lyon County for sure, <laughs> at least Lyon County. But it wouldn't surprise me if they extend this watch from the, from the southwest farther our direction um, or if they add a new watch to cover eastern Kansas. But as of right now, uh, we don't have a, a severe storm watch or tornado watch anywhere except for uh, Chase Marion and then Donovan County has the watch that's over uh, may, mostly for the activity in Missouri. And that watch was issued for the stuff that uh, really developed around, uh, that caused the trouble around Sabetha and Seneca, and then now it's moved off into uh, uh, northwest parts of Missouri. So again, the risk of seeing severe weather continues through the evening, and uh, then tomorrow is really a dry day. So we get into uh, Halloween with no chance of rain and high temperatures, much cooler, only in the upper 50s near 60. That's tomorrow for Halloween. It's much dry, much nicer days, <laughs> much cooler. Uh, but for the late part of October, uh, that's close to, to normal for this time of the year, really. Okay, I'll go through these graphics one more time, then we get ready for the uh, newscast on uh, 13 News at 4. If we do have a tornado warning issued for anybody, we'll, we'll, we'll start the live stream right away, if not sooner. Uh, may maybe even before, it be, if I see something spinning, we'll start a live stream. Um, but if we have a tornado warning, we'll obviously go on TV live continuously uh, for that. So let's go through graphics one more time, then I'll get ready for the uh, 4 o'clock show here. 50 degrees in, in Concordia right now. Raining north wind at 12 miles per hour. Your chance for tornado in Concordia is basically zero at this point. Emporia, south wind, temperature still in the mid 70s, dew point 64. You have the uh, jet stream winds, the strong, uh, the strong trough of the jet stream level coming your way later this evening. And uh, storms coming your way from the southwest. Those things combining uh, do keep Emporia in a significant risk of seeing a tornado this evening. Stay, stay ready in Emporia, please, in, in Lyon County. 40 mile per hour winds right now in the south from the south to Emporia. Council Grove 28 miles per hour from the south. This is a cold front right about there close to Manhattan. And uh, if you are behind that where the winds are coming in strong from the north and temperatures in the 40s now in Concordia. Uh, actually, that was uh, two hours ago at 49 degrees. Now it's uh, that's 50. <laughs> it's going up and down the last a couple of hours. So 50 now. Topeka 71. Uh, but anywhere right along and ahead of the wind shift is the most significant risk of seeing these higher end severe storms or tornadoes possibly. Uh, so there's your temperature in Hutchinson at 53 and uh, Council Grove still 72. So we have that uh, wild storm north of Wichita now that's uh, heading toward Council Grove over the next couple of hours. So we have to be concerned about that one for sure. Uh, areas around Emporia, Cottonwood Falls, uh, Council Grove and Topeka as well should be watching this activity that's uh, northwest of uh, Wichita very closely. So the severe storm risk still remains in the enhanced category for us. Uh, three out of five is a way to look at it. The five doesn't happen more than once every two years around here. Um, so a level four, we get maybe two or three of those a year, but uh, in the enhanced we have maybe five or eight times a year uh, typically. And looking at the risk for the, the uh, tornadoes, 
these areas that have the uh, red hash marks and the yellow, that's a, a higher end, uh, possibly strong tornadoes, where it's mentioned in that. But again, if you go to the west, I say Concordia is absolutely done. Clay Center is just barely hanging on to any, you know, fraction of tornado risk at this point. But it really ramps up. Council Grove, Emporia, Osage City, Topeka, over Lawrence. Uh, these areas are absolutely not out to the risk of seeing uh, dangerous storms or even tornadoes uh, this evening. So that is what we are tracking. We're going to leave in live stream here. Again, we'll be on uh, 13 News at 4. We'll have updates on social media all day. And again, if we do have anything start to even look like it might be spinning, we'll start a new live stream right away. Stay with us all day. We'll keep you safe and informed.